You want to melt your fat away? Well, I know these three letters haunt you every day. F-A-T. But say goodbye to them, because for the next 30 minutes, we're reducing these letters down to nothing. I'm going to re reveal the three most promising fat melters. Whether you want to lose fat without diet or exercise, stop the excess fat from piling on, or just lose those last stubborn five pounds, this is the show for you. Let's get started. I've got Dr. Eva Selhub joining us. She's a leading expert in the field of weight loss. Thanks for joining Hello. us. So this concept of fat melting, describe what that is as a physician. Well, I actually like to think of it as you're putting a fat on the frying pan, right? You turn on the fire, creates heat. What happens to the fat? It melts. melts. Well, the same thing happens in our bodies. So what happens is, is those fat cells are broken down. We call it lipolysis, mm -hmm. lipo fat, lysis breakdown. That lipolysis makes energy. Energy creates heat or thermogenesis, thermoheat, mm -hmm. genesis creation. That heat, guess what it does to the fat? Melts it the melts fat. It. Exactly. That's why exercise works. You see, so exercise creates that energy, creates that heat, it melts the fat. But now we know there's some natural ways for that to happen without having to move. I don't advocate not <laughs> moving, but we know that it can happen without moving. And it is a challenge, I think, to melt the fat for a lot of folks. But today we've got some ideas that are really going to help out. We're going to start with fat melters, come on back, that are unique because they do not require any diet or exercise. You guys ready to see what it is? Yeah. I thought you would. All right, we're going to start off with something that is called CLA. It stands for conjugated linoleic acid. Conjugated linoleic acid. So, Dr. Salah Hub, what is this? Well, CLA is what we know as the good trans fat. And it has a lower melting point than the other fats, and it burns it faster. And it's, it's really a great, great stuff that we have naturally in beef and in dairy. Our bodies don't produce it, so we do need to get it from other sources. So we made both a little demonstration for you to, to reveal what Dr. Sal Hub is talking about. So imagine this globe filled with all kinds of fun stuff inside is a fat cell with fat on the inside. Right? These fat molecules, when you want to get rid of them, guess what? They don't want to come out. So you work out, you eat right, you do all the smart things, but no matter what you try, no matter how you turn this thing, nothing happens. That's why it's so hard to lose stubborn fat. But if you take CLA, pretend this is CLA, Dr. Selhub, if you don't mind, and just pour that into that fat cell. As the fat cell takes this up, guess what it does? It dissolves what's in there. And as it dissolves those fat molecules on the inside of the fat cell, it makes it really easy for that fat cell to get rid of it. Pouring out that stubborn fat, until there's little left on the inside. So what kind of results could folks really expect to have if they start adding this to their diet? Well, again, you think melting. So we've seen the, um, that place right here on the gut that we call the abdominal obesity, that shrinks. We also see a loss of body fat of the mass. And in, that, in fact, there was one study that showed an 8% reduction versus placebo when the individual took CLA without diet and exercise. And how long did it take to get rid of that fat that you're describing? Well, usually it can take anywhere about Four weeks. We usually see results in about four weeks. So not a crazy yeah. long period of time. No. So Maria from Austin sent us a little note. She says she's lost 56 pounds from using CLA. Here she is before, and there she is after. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of weight loss. Congratulations. So how do you suggest getting CLA uh, into your diet? What's the most effective way to take it? Well, of course, it is. you can get it in your diet. You can get it from beef or dairy. Um, however, you really also you want to look for grass-fed because it's really in large amounts of grass. You'd have to eat a lot of it to get that desired effect. So you can take a supplement. So how much would you take? Well, we recommend about three grams a day in three divided doses. And just make sure that it's made with safflower oil because that has a higher contact of CLA in it. I also want to mention that if you do have diabetes, we're not really quite sure how it affects insulin sensitivity or resistance. So check with your doctor before taking it. 